Hi, this is Mario Harrow from The Piano Podcast. I just wanted to make this short video, and I hope to make more of these short videos that help me become a little bit more interactive with some of my audience and uh, people who like The Piano Podcast, particularly, specifically uh, liking The Piano Podcast on Facebook. Um, yesterday, Mark Cousins had wrote on the timeline for The Piano Podcast. He had written... Hi, Mario. I'm trying to learn the piece Read All About It, Part 3 by Emily Sande. And I'm having some difficulty knowing which hands to use as the notes in the bass and treble staffs overlap. Any help you could provide would be much appreciated. The link to the music is below, although it doesn't seem to completely follow the piano in the song. Thanks. Well, Mark, thanks for writing. And I apologize uh, that I am not totally familiar with the piece, but I did follow the link. And I think I can give you some tips on how to distribute the uh, piano part between the two hands, at least for the first eight measures, and that will hopefully get you started and give you some ideas on how to distribute the piano part between the hands for the rest of the piece. For the first measure, uh, I'm assuming you have the music in front of you. If not, make sure you go get it. Um, in the very first measure, first two measures, I would take all those Bs, those high Bs that you see at the top of the bass clef, I would take all those with the right hand, all right? Let me play the first two measures slowly so you can see how I distribute it between the right hand and the left hand. One, two, three, and four. Now in the third measure, I would take, instead of the Bs, I would take the As, since there's no more Bs there. I would take the A, and also there's that 1D in the middle of the measure that you see tied over as well. Although I, I think I start off playing it first with 3 and 5 at the beginning of the measure, but then I switch over to the second finger in the middle of the measure. I'll try to do that slowly so you could see the finger switch where I change playing that D first in the right hand with 3, and then in the middle, middle of the measure with uh, 2 there to make it easier to reach the high A's that come in in the second half of the measure. All right, let me do that real slow. One, and two, and three, four. See how I did that? And then in the fourth measure, I play the C sharp and E with five and, excuse me, three and five respectively. In the left hand, I play that with uh, the first two notes in the left hand bass clef with five and one, and then I would just take those last two eighth notes, the A and the C sharp with the right hand, thumb, and third finger. See how that goes? Second line, pretty much the same stuff, B's again with the uh, right hand, and also there's that one A in measure six, so distribute it like this. in measure, what is that, seven, measure seven, I would take the D, A, and D. I think you should be, if your hand's big enough, you should probably be able to reach that all with the left hand and everything in the treble clefs with the right hand. And let me make sure I counted that right. Two, three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And then in the last measure, I'll play that C sharp in the right hand with three, left hand A with five, A, E with one, and then you could take that A dotted half note in the bass clef with the right hand, and then the E by itself with finger number five in the treble clef, okay? So let me play all eight measures so you get a sense of what it is. Let me do it slow first. One, two, three, and four. So when you, let me try to do it 
a little bit closer to tempo here. One, two, three, and four. Well, Mark, I hope you found that video helpful in distributing the uh, right hand and the left hand amongst the uh, parts in the piano. Uh, if you or anyone else has any questions about something that they're trying out that they're, they, you can't quite get, I'll see what I can do to help, uh, and I'll, I'll try to respond as best as I can here. Leave a comment here on my Facebook page. And uh, that's why I started this podcast was because I wanted to help some people at the piano that maybe I normally wouldn't come across in everyday life here. So it's real, uh, I'm really always fascinated with this cool technology and uh, hope uh, that I can be of some service to uh, any of you out there. Uh, that's it for this time. Keep on practicing. Bye.